Look at somebody and say, distractions. Part one. Today we're going to talk about technology. Amen. Boy, look at that nice distracting screen. Boy, ain't that cool? That's the new OS. See, ain't that nice? Amen. Distractions. I'm doing a whole series on distractions. Amen. Yeah, and this is for everyone. I said it on Instagram this morning. I got to hold myself accountable. I'm guilty. I done held my phone and flipped through more fight videos than anybody in here. I done seen dogs fighting, cats fighting, Negroes fighting cats, cats fighting Negroes. I done seen winos fighting, crackheads fighting. I done seen, I'm sorry, I'm guilty. Lord, forgive me. I'm me. The next one is better than the first one. Then the next one is even better. This one right here, I mean, somebody tore a whole street up with a the, with the hand, bare hand, just whooping folks. I mean, the dude that was filming on one of them got whooped. Uh, that was the best one. Camera just flew all. I said, does he have a drone? No, he ain't got no drone. He's in the fight. I I, I'm sorry. I got caught up. I got sucked in. I'm sorry. I'm just human. Lord, forgive me. And man, after I had spent uh, two hours, <laughs> it had to be two hours. <laughs> and I was supposed to be studying the word, trying to get y'all something to hear. I was supposed to be preaching to y'all. I done spent two hours watching ghetto ratchet hood fights. That's the name of the page I was on. Hood fights. I don't want to hear the cussing or nothing, so I turned the volume down thinking that's better. I'm thinking that's okay now since I'm a believer. If I turn the volume down, then I don't have to. I watched all the hood fight, every hood fight that's ever happened that's on video. Herman, I watched every one of them. And I enjoyed them. And that's why I'm rebuking me and all y'all today. Everybody in here about to get rid of Because I mean, the phone took me in. And after that two hours, I got in the bed. I, this is the truth. I got in the bed and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, you know you in trouble. And I said, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, Lord, I'm in trouble. And he woke me up, told me to prepare this message. Everybody, we all in trouble. Because as I'm talking about this, you've been on a page too. You, you don't even, don't you trip with me. Don't you leave me out here by myself. You've been flipping too. At least once. It'll get you too. Something about them hood fights. I, I don't know. The women, the men, the kids. Everybody was fighting on that street. That must be Fight Street. Street called Fisticus. Fisticus Avenue. Everybody fighting. Mailman, he just coming to put the mail in. Oh, what's going on? I, I'm like, oh, Lord, yes. The mailman is about it. They all fight. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm guilty. I come to confess my sin. I'm guilty. Because it was very interesting to me. And it's the first time. Like, I've never got caught up in none of that stuff. You know, somebody will send you one video. You watch it, but this time they sent it to me and I clicked hood fights up in the top and it took me in a black hole. I, I went inside CERN and couldn't get out. I couldn't get out. j Rod, I was in there. Ignoring calls, folk trying to reach me. You couldn't reach me. You couldn't reach me because I wasn't departing from the hood fights. You be asking questions. What? Man, why are you? What, what you what? I'm guilty. Because somebody say distractions. Man, this internet is something else. Now, is this somebody's phone screen? Does your phone screen do this? Mine does. You could be busy doing something else and your peripheral vision see your phone light up. I have it silenced, no ringtone, nothing. But just the light comes on, and then I just reach over there and say, oh, who is that? 
See y'all, this is gonna be that Sunday when y'all act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but you really do. And God gonna get you for doing that to me. He ain't gonna leave me out here. But yeah, it just, the phone is just, man. Boy, it wants attention, don't it? Navigating through the era of the machine, which is our era, can occupy so much of our time that we fail to invest in our spiritual walk. Yeah. So much of our time goes to technology. You know, technology can make things too easy. Things can happen too quick. When things keep happening easy and quick, you lose your sensitivity to processes. The Lord spoke to me and told me that's why Folks aren't getting married. Yeah. They're not getting married because they don't understand process. Come on. They're so used to things being instantaneous yeah. and instantaneous grat uh, gratification yeah. that they don't understand process. Right. Men don't understand a girl that didn't like them getting her to like you. See, that's, I'm going to go way over here. You, you, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? See, they, they, they wasn't in that era. Back then, that back then, that's the only kind of girl you wanted. One that you had to win. They give y'all a page out of Macology 101. They don't understand. Oh, she don't like me? Oh, it's old. Watch, watch what I do next. And that's not just humans, that's the whole animal kingdom. A doggone peacock, a squirrel, a rat, anything. The male got to go around the female, female turn around and go the other way. Male like, oh no, you going to see me. Go get in front of him, peacock, fan in that tail, short. Female just looking at it like, all right then, since you brought your A game, I give you, I give you my number. That's the way it used to be. It's not like that because people don't respect and honor processes. That's why they can't sit in church no more. Church is a process. You give your life to the Lord, process starts. Yeah, they don't want that. They want to go to a church where they give their life to the Lord and they automatically on the usher board. Because the church don't have enough men. If it's a man, he's automatically a deacon. Just got saved. Weed in his coat jacket. Whiskey bottle in his briefcase. But he just, he's the assistant pastor. Why? Because he's the only man. He left the church that was working a process on it. So technology, man, I got to hurry up because I got a lot to cover. But technology does that. It's the era of the machine. Everything instantaneous. We forget that humans don't function that way. Ever try to lose weight? That, that, that's, that, that'll teach you that there is a big difference in a machine and your body. Amen. You can take boxes out of the trunk of a car and make the car lighter instantaneously. But your body, oh, it's a pro. Look at somebody say process. It's a process. It's a process. It takes time. Your understanding. Process. Yeah. So you can't come into church, get mad at the stuff you're hearing, and you haven't gone through a process. You got to go through that first initial process of acclimating. Then after you acclimate it, you buy in. Process. I'm going to buy in. Even though this is going against me and my mind, I'm going to endure it, this process so I can get to the next process. But if I'm just going with itching ears, listening for something that's going to agree with me, 
theology taught you that? Yeah, people scroll through preachers to find the one that sounds good to them. You know how dangerous that is? It's so crazy. I see certain people online or whatever, and you see them one month, they got they posted this preacher, 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 preacher. Then three months, they don't like that one no more. Now they posted this preacher, preacher, preacher. I'm just like, who's speaking a process into your life? You know you don't control the process. So we get used to machines where we control, we input a certain thing and control the processes of that machine. But life doesn't allow that. No, you get under somebody and they control the process. You don't go into the, a classroom and tell the teacher, okay, here's the syllabus we'd like to use. This is our lesson plan. We'd like for you to teach this to us. No, teacher's creating her plan off the knowledge and understanding she has that you don't have. So she controls that process. Man, I'm preaching. And that's okay. I'm just on the first bullet. Let me hurry up. Amen. But in the era of the machine, we can fail to invest in our spiritual walk. Galatians 6 and 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap what? Corruption. Corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap what? Life everlasting. In order to know God, we must learn about him. Not just through technology, but aside from it as well. So don't think your memory verse that pops up in your phone is learning about God. There's a whole Bible that you need to investigate so you can learn about God. Amen? Sometimes technology is just not the smart idea when it comes to seeking God. Sometimes you, I'm telling you, you can't be talking to God, reading, learning about God, and your friend's messages keep popping up. That's the equivalent of you in a room, a chamber, secret place with the Lord, and somebody keep opening the door. Hey, you all right? Hey, what you doing? Hey, what we gonna do next week? Why you studying? It's the same thing. Technology has made you used to it. First Peter 2 and 2, as newborn babes, desire the what? Sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. I know somebody like, well, I'm not no babe. I put this passage up here so you'll understand that as a babe, you are supposed to learn and birth the desire for the milk of the word. Yeah. So when you got older, that desire would be there. Yeah. Some of you are older and you don't have a desire. That means you're a babe. Yeah. I, I, I don't care. I don't care how long you've been going to church. And it ain't nothing wrong with that. If you are a babe, recognize that and then build that desire. It's okay. That ye may grow thereby. Can I preach to y'all today? The smartphone was created to distract us from human interaction and make us more and more comfortable with artificial intelligence. Steve Jobs made the first iPhone which was the combination of the iPod and a phone. And he predicted that there would be apps for everything where you would be able to do everything and never have to leave your phone. Then he said, I'm gonna make a bigger screen when he created the iPad. After he made those things, he wouldn't allow his daughter to use them. He wouldn't allow his grandchildren to have them. Ain't that crazy? He said because he wanted his kids to communicate and have human interaction. He said, and these devices were designed to limit that. But the smartphone was created to distract us from human interaction and make us more and more comfortable with AI. Was it not Elon Musk that said that artificial intelligence is going to turn on us one day and the machines are going to become self-aware? He said that before he bought Twitter 
and before he became the richest man on earth, and now everything that he does is about artificial intelligence. I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep so sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. Um, and um, I think we should be really concerned about AI, and I think we should. This is, AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive, um, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. He warned us, and now that's all he's doing. He dressed up like Azazel for Halloween with Baphomet and an upside down cross. Hmm. But that's what it was created for. Distract us from human interaction. Man, you can say stuff on text that you wouldn't dare say in person. Well, yeah, yeah, you can get comfortable in situations with people via text, and you wouldn't be that comfortable if it was a physical meeting. Yeah, yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference when you don't have that person's energy around. Some folk get real tough on the internet. No, they ain't, they ain't gonna come around and say it. Oh, but they'll do the drive-by post. Drive-by, just gonna say it and then split. Yeah, because you gotta deal with a person's energy. And a lot of times, just the respect of their energy will keep you from saying certain things. Amen, that's why you gotta be careful and monitor your children and their behavior online. Amen, what they're posting and saying. You don't need to be posting your family business online. They don't need to be filming your house and putting it online. They be done showed something you didn't want the world wide web to see. If they're filming, you give them a space and make them clean it or whatever, but just randomly turning on a camera in somebody's house and posting that on the world wide web, that's dangerous. So you got to be careful with that. Can I preach in here? Well, y'all just, you got to be careful. Look at somebody say, be careful. Amen. You got to be careful. Folks, let their guard down and forget. And here's the thing you really forget. You thought demons was after you in your house. Just wait till something you do goes viral. Now you're dealing with principalities and powers of the air. Revelations 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the what? Not the beast. The what? Image. Image. Listen to this. It's describing what they're preparing us for. The images. Not the beast. The image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. It's all about the image, a projection. Yeah. <laughs> Ezekiel 14 and 6. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your what? Abomination. See, we read this, and the first thing we think of is little statues, idols, and false god statues, and then we think of abominations, you know, uh, passing your daughters through the fire, and divinations, and all these kind of things, and we just don't even bring this up to date like we should. Turn from your idols, that's anything. Anything that's in the way of you and God. Yeah. Turn from it. Now don't run out in, throw your phone in the parking lot. Oh! That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> don't be crazy. But I'm saying it can be an idol if you don't monitor. 
your use and the time that you're putting in it. You can put it before God. And the abominations can be the hood fights. What am I doing watching people blunder each other and beat each other? That's an abomination. I shouldn't have been enjoying that. No, I ain't playing. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I just, because I, what I did, I ended up creating an appetite for it. That ain't like John Wick or something. I mean, they, they yell cut and everybody's okay. These folks are getting beat for real. And I'm watching it like it's John. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. And that's an abomination. Watching people beat each other. Women fighting. Beating each other. That's an abomination. And God says repent and turn away from them. The things that are abominable to God. I can't develop. If I keep watching it, I'm going to develop an appetite for it. Then I'm going to try to find an address. Of where these fights are taking place. That, that's the next step. The real next step is somebody bumping the you too hard. After you done watch. <laughs> you done fueled yourself with <laughs> two whole weeks of hood fights. And somebody, somebody cuts you off on the freeway. Can I just be real? Man, I want to be a real preacher, Sister Amy. I just want to tell the truth. That's all. And if it gets me, it just gets me. And I'll repent. But we got to repent and turn from the idols. All that time you putting into that phone and turn your face from all your abominations. Whatever you watching. Amen. There's a lot of stuff on there too. You can be flipping through. The more technology we get accustomed to, the less attractive the things of God become to us. Yeah. God, it, things of God start looking archaic and dated. I mean, just getting on your knees and praying and just talking. Nah, it's better just get in the recliner and turn the phone on and listen to it. Yeah, you know, it, it, God, it just becomes less attractive. Fasting? You mean going without eating? Well, doctors say that it's best that... Was the doctor saved? Because what you're doing is spiritual. What does the doctor know about spiritual? When the Bible said, fast and pray. Hey, get too smart. Technology. But it causes the things of God to become less attractive. God's way will then become unfulfilling and outdated to us. That's what the church is now. The church is unfulfilling and outdated to folks now. Yeah, they'd rather be home. They don't understand that God commands for us to be together. He desires for us to be together. He said, not forsaken the fellowship. He wasn't talking about you and a few folk going to the park and kicking a ball in the name of Jesus. No, he was talking about the church, the presbytery, the order that he left. That he said the gates of hell would not prevail against. Churches, anybody believe church is important? And the only folk that don't like church are the folks that's mad because they wasn't allowed to do what they wanted to do in the church. Oh, here, Pastor, I, I have a word for the church. Uh, just the women. I have a word for the women. Cause, so I said, check with my wife. My wife said, no, I don't think we're going to do that. Gone. Lead the church. Oh, you don't know how many times that doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah uh, we're going to decide what word needs to be in here. And that's the crazy thing. You trust us for everything else. You trust us to bring you the word. You trust us to feed you. You trust everything else. Won't you trust the judgment of the leadership? Folk trust it until it go against them. Brother, this ain't your house. This is the house of the Lord. 
Amen. So we do things decently and in order. Been doing them that way. Going to keep doing them that way. But yeah, but you watching the internet and you watching all the preachers and you got a preach word now. That's, that's the internet. That's virtual. That's the real world. Most of those folk online couldn't get three folks to come hear them. You could advertise it on BET and five folks will show up. Nobody trying to hear you. <laughs> Being able to post our thoughts, make decisions, and be our own guides without anyone to physically influence us changes how we feel about those that God has called to guide us. Did you hear what I just said? That internet, you able to just post whatever you're thinking. Doing, making, any, just making decisions, whatever decisions. And then be your own God without a physical influence in your life. It's going to change the way you feel about the people God sent to help you. You online Googling trying to find somebody. God sent you somebody and you didn't want to hear them. God sent you a human to guide you. Amen. Now you searching virtually. Can I keep going? Yeah. Amen. Yep, somebody thinking, man, so now what am I going to watch now? <laughs> Since I got to turn the hood fights on. <laughs> Technology versus God. Technology is varying and instantaneous. But God is constant and calculated. So when you study, when you in the, the, the technical realm too much, you start wanting God to be quick. Man, I got news. Oh, I got some bad news for you. God moves slow. That's because he's not in our time, so we can't time him. Time is inside of him. Yeah. So whenever he feel like going over to that, to that part, yeah. he will, but he's big. And it, it takes a lot to move something big. Yes, sir. Yeah, but the reason he's slow is because he's calculated. So he's considering everything. All you thinking about is what you want and what you think you need. And he's thinking about everything. God, why, may we, why won't you bring me a husband? God, in the name of Jesus, husband cometh to me right now. God heard you. Okay, he's on the way. Mm, moving like Kronos. Because <laughs> mm, you know what he's doing? He's thinking about your kids, your baby's daddy, how all that's going to fit together. Then he's thinking about your mama and her attitude. Thinking about your daddy. You th just considering everything that's got to be the right piece. Got to fit it in. Can't come quick. Got to be custom made for your situation. But you on the internet, Google, cute man. Pop 50 of them jump up. Let me see which one. <laughs> Meet.com. Oh, look at my profile. My profile got 20 hits today on Meet.com. God is trying to take his time so you won't get in something and it fail like the other ones did. Amen. God moving like that and then your heart is moving like that. He working on your heart that slow too. Because there's a lot of trash in there he's trying to clean up. It just takes him time. He's calculated. But he's constant. He's going to keep his promises. He's going to do it. Look at somebody say, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Deuteronomy 3 and 4. And I'm just going to read this for the first part. He is the rock. You know what a rock is? You know how long rock's been here? ever try to move a big rock his work is what perfect for all his ways are judgment that means he's thinking of the outcome everything he does a God of truth and without iniquity just and right 
is he. Technology is man's creation, but man is God's creation. Romans 1 and 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator or the created more than the creator. That's what we're doing with these phones. We're serving the created more than the creator. Yeah. So we got to take a break, turn it off, have some time when you don't look at it. If you need any advice on that, contact my wife. Because I tell you, I can't ever get in contact with her. Is that any man, any other man in here? Why, is, why does she have a phone? Why, why? She will leave that phone downstairs so quick. And it'd be early, too. Where you at? What we gonna eat? What we gonna do? What? Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> I called Jonathan. I oh, said, well, her phone's right here. Well, where is she? <laughs> Tell him, Landon. No, I mean, it's just... So if you ever want to know how to get away from the phone, my wife, she need to write a manual. She'll teach you. But technology is man's creation. <laughs> and man is God's creation. Technology is dam damaging to our health. Think about this. Remember when we were growing up, they told us don't sit in front of the TV too long. Remember that? Like, you better back up from that TV, you're going to go blind. And then you be like, that ain't never happened. Look over there at Richard. <laughs> you know, you... And you know, them TVs back then, you're going to get radiation poisoning too. That's the Big Back TV. Remember the Big Back TV? And when it was time, you know, to throw it away, you put it in the alley, and we'd always get a big rock or something and bust it. And then everybody just break out in hives. Be sick for weeks. <laughs> Got to miss school, everything. <laughs> what you was watching on that screen is really in the TV. <laughs> but technology is damaging to our health. You know, I got a little EMF meter that I use now, and I, I have to look because I'm, I'm affected by uh, electromagnetic frequencies more than a normal person, and it's because I've been electrocuted twice. Yeah. Yeah, that really happened. <laughs> Elder, he said, oh, God, what? <laughs> Serious. Oh, he got so serious. <laughs> and you're standing to tell us the devil can't kill me. Amen. All he can do is give me mutant powers. But yeah, I got it. When I was young, I put some scissors in the one of the slots and I held on to the scissors because they was in my fingers ready to cut. So I'm crazy. So yeah, and it just me knocked me out for a little bit. But the big one happened <laughs> when Vicky and Landon were little kids, and we was at my at my mother-in-law's house. Mimi is over there just cracking. Almost died, Mimi. Oh. But uh, I had a drum machine. This is when we first got married. I think the kids were five, four or five. I think Landon might have been one, Vicky four, or something like that. They were little. And I'm trying to plug my drum machine up with my headphones because I'm going to make some beats while I'm there, just, you know. Um, and so they told me, reach behind the couch. They said, they said there's an outlet. <laughs> there's an outlet behind the couch. You can plug it. I was like, okay. So I'm getting, you know, it's one of those wall warts, big square thing. So I'm just down there reaching, reaching. They didn't tell me there was two wires hanging <laughs> out of the outlet. Outlet been broke. Long as the house been there. It, it, they never even put a plate on it. Two wires hanging. Somebody said that's why the couch was there. The couch was there to hide. 
So I'm just reaching, and then all of a sudden, pow, and it felt like somebody hit my whole body with a sledgehammer. The lights dimmed, flickered. Vicky started crying and running. Uh, she came in there, and my whole arm was black, and I couldn't use my arm for like 15 minutes. It was paralyzed. I mean, it was like, pow! You sedate the daddy. Rest his soul, but he was wrong for this. He walked in there, he's like, oh, no, you can't use that plug. I'm sitting there. <laughs> Them Williams, my God. And so because of those, my body flags electromagnetic frequencies. Now you understand. So I, I just can't be around. I had to get rid of my car. <sighs> I was driving the car. It was making me sick. The electric car. And Dr. Janine found out and had me get the meter and all that. And it was just, I had a cold every week that I had that car for eight months. Didn't know it was the car. Loved it. It was awesome. But amen. So anyway, technology is damaging to, our, damaging to our health, but God's things are not harmful to us. His things are not harmful to us. Why God ain't coming back in no spaceship. He's coming back on a horse. That's what the Bible said. He's going to be he's riding a horse. He's going to be riding whatever he come back on. It's the stuff he made. Yeah, those are his things. These are God's things. So he said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. So he cares about our health just like he cares about our souls. But we got to care about our health. Amen. Technology is damaging if you. Amen. Technology separates us from each other. But God unites us with one another and heals our relationships. Amen. Technology will have you off in a corner somewhere talking to somebody you shouldn't be. And it's easy because you don't have to deal with that person's energy. So it's easy to get caught up in conversations with people you shouldn't be talking to. Amen. But see, I, I called Jay Brown yesterday and I told him, I said, well, we going to we need to talk about this even with the youth. Because I think some of the youth are too old for boys and girls to be texting each other. You don't have to agree. But that's just, I, because you don't have, you, that's, there, there's no authority there. There's no, you ain't thinking about your mama, your dad. All you're thinking about is what you want to say to that person. So whatever day you had, you're going to let it out on that person and eventually feelings are going to start percolating. Yeah, because there's nothing to stop it. Nothing to stop it. And you can easily go in a corner, go somewhere else. That's too private. There's nobody to interfere. Nobody to say, hey, man, you, you, they're crossing the line. Can I pre yeah, so put everybody get on a group. Let it be a group text. Why well, it's gotta be a private text between you, a girl and a boy. And some of the girls are worse than the boys in 20 and 22. Yeah, because you don't watch the music video, seen stuff. Now you want to talk about that video. Video was X-rated. Should be having that discussion. Man, I'm preaching in here. Yeah. Amen. So I'm not saying, I'm just saying monitor, watch it. You do your house like you need to do your house. But my house, I got to do things a different way. Because I'm trying to be preventative. Amen. I know what I want to, went through. Being Lucy and Goosey. I know all of that. I get it. I know all of that. But hey, hey, for my children, I want something different. Amen. And you ought to want something different too. Don't be walking around, oh, look at my son. He's just a little player. A little what? A 
a little what? And he's saying, a little what? I ain't say that no more. <laughs> little play, but he got all the little girls. Look at his phone, got all of them trying to. Nah, uh, not for my son. No, no, not for my children. Nah, nah, I don't want that. Amen. That's not a good life to live. That gets you in. Anybody ever got in trouble? That'll get you in trouble. And it be that trouble that don't ever go away. <laughs> everlasting, like the Willy Wonka made it. The everlasting gobstopper trouble. Keep changing colors. <laughs> but it separates us from each other. But God unites us with one another. And heals our relationships. Amen. Some of the stuff we say, you need to wait till you get to the person to say it. Amen. Everything don't need to be no text. Brother, you offended me the other day. And you really just, you really just, no, you a coward. You're a coward if you can't talk to me in person. Don't be telling me your feelings via text. Or let me go on the internet and see you posting something about me. Man, what a punk. Brother, you can't talk to me. But technology does that. That's not the same. You going off and all on the text. Chaff. Hebrews 10 and 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. But exhorting one another. And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. We need to be together. Amen. I'm going to keep preaching. I heard some claps kind of thinning because I didn't kind of step in some necks. But that's okay. Amen. That's what the preach word is all about. Take it, say ouch, and make some changes. Amen. That's what I had to do. I got rebuked, scorned, talked about ever since I was born from the Lord on this hood fight thing. Technology is misleading. But God never leads us astray. Amen. How is technology misleading? Technology is misleading by showing you things that via technology it appears to matter. Yeah. But with God it don't matter. Yeah. yeah. Folk worried about celebrities. And in God's eyes he's more worried about you. Yeah. He's worried about your interaction with your family. He's worried about how your children going to turn out. He ain't worried about the Kardashians. But technology is misleading. But God never leads us astray. 1 Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. Technology costs money. So technology is going to do what it needs to do to bring money. Technology only highlights issues with no solutions. <laughs> Ain't no solutions on the internet. No, it's going to highlight the issues. I didn't see nobody break up the hood rat. Nobody broke up the hood fight and dealt with why they was fighting. It's like, brother, you ain't fighting because this dude took your parking space. You fighting because of what happened in your childhood. What you feel is really missing. The, 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 the internet doesn't do that. It only highlights issues, but it doesn't have any solutions. So we're entertained by issues. Some black folk won't go see a movie unless it's baby daddy, baby mama drama. Your favorite show is some old stank women sitting around talking about, yeah, you did it with him, me too. I did too. I got two babies by. How many you got? That's your favorite show. No solutions. Those are real shows. All the real housewives and the Atlanta housewives and the... Yeah. Just drama. But it's only highlighting the issues. No solutions. But God has the answer for our issues. 
Listen, if, if, if you keep watching and being entertained by people's issues, you'll lose the desire to find solutions. Yeah, you'll lose the desire. John 16 and 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will do what? Guide you in all truth for he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak and he will show you things to come. But he has to pull you away from what you're watching, what you're ingesting to speak truth to you. You can't hear truth if you're feeling, your, feeling yourself with nothing but lies. Yeah. That's what it's for. That's what it's for. Technology exploits and celebrates our deficits, but God repairs them. Amen? God repairs them, but technology exploits and celebrates our deficits. And some of this stuff is not funny. I don't like all the church funny stuff. Some of this stuff you just need to quit, like the old folks say, poking fun at. Because you're making church, you're trivializing it, and you're making a living making fun of it. These folks getting paid making fun of some things that are sacred. They just make, somebody sent me a video, they're making fun of communion. And I said, do you know that that's holy communion? That's not funny. Making fun of Jesus. Making fun of the cross. That's not funny. You got to draw the line somewhere. Amen. Oh, I wish somebody came to hear some preaching today. This is hard on somebody. I know. Toes just... Amen. Bunyan about to bust. I get it. But yeah, some stuff just not funny. Now, some of it is, but some of it, it's just they're making fun of church too much. And some things in church shouldn't be made fun of. They are serious. Philippians 4 and 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and his glory. He will repair every one of our deficits. Do you know what all your needs is? And we read the scripture, we immediately think of money. He's going to supply all my needs. What? All my bills. Needs and bills. No, all your needs. You need to be free from that deficit. You need that issue taken care of. That's what's causing you to wild out. That issue. It's going unchecked. That situation that happened when you was young, it's going unchecked. That's what's causing you. But he said he'll supply it. All your, everything you need. If you can get away with him. Amen. Let's hope this is right. Ah, summary. Solutions. The summary is solutions. Look at that. All right. Technology keeps us bound by our own issues because it only promotes that which the flesh feeds on. Yes. Clickbait. That which the flesh feeds on. Man, you could be thinking about something and the phone, it'll pop up on the phone. You ain't about to say it no more. Now they can just say, they can just feel it. It'll pop up on that phone. I was just about to order that. How did it know? Oh, and God forbid you leave something in a cart. The cart will chase you down for weeks. Uh, you left something in the cart. It's still available. Like, I put it in the cart because I wasn't sure that I wanted it. Well, we're sure. So we're going to bother you till you take it out the cart or purchase it. One day they're going to say, you can't take it out the cart. So the next thing you buy, you're going to have to buy this too. <laughs> but it keeps us bound by our own issues because it only promotes that which the flesh feeds on. 
Our flesh desires promotion, attention, approval, and pleasure. That sounds like that social media, don't it? Promotion, attention, approval, pleasure. Those are the things our flesh desires. And that's all social media promotes. Social media was created to feed our flesh to fulfill our plans and not God's plan. God desires for us to live in the spirit and not obey the flesh. Amen? But how can you ignore something that you are strengthening daily? You're strengthening your flesh daily through social media. It's making your flesh strong and in some cases out of control. So here are some solutions. One, set a time for your phone use. So at a certain time, you can't be reached. I know you love it. At a, <laughs> but at a certain time, you can't be reached. Don't obey it. Make it obey you. Don't obey your phone. Every time it ding, you don't have to pick it up. Every time it vibrate, you don't have to grab it. No. Tell it, nope, not today, phone. Somebody got to talk to it. Sometimes you just got to say something. But don't obey it. Make it obey you. Give it perimeters and try your best to keep your surfing confined to them. There's a thing in it. In the, I know on the iPhone, it's, it's, it's uh, where you can set it to not even work at a certain time. Screen time or something like that. Is that what it's called? Screen time. And, and just because you're an adult, that don't mean you're on punishment. Put yourself on the screen time. Let it be unreachable. I'm going to set it for 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. That's, that's the time I can't be reached. But give it proof. <laughs> Amen. Number two, ask God what is a pro. Mm. Don't ask me. Ask God. And people always ask me after they post it. Ask God what is appropriate to post and say online. It is the World Wide Web, so you need somebody to help you know. What needs the whole world should be able to see. You don't have to amen. Never get caught up in an emotional tantrum and revealing conversations publicly. You don't go back and forth on Facebook. Fat back and forth. Oh, just back and forth. You just you know how stupid that is. For everyone to see, because all you're trying to do is get somebody on your side. Are y'all enjoying this message? Yeah. But this message is kicking somebody. Hey! Always remember you are on the world wide web. Look at somebody say world wide. You know how big the world is? World wide web where the devil always controls the narrative. He's always working the plan when you emotionally post that. Pray for God, number three, to reveal to you reasons for neglecting him. Pray to God and ask him, what are the reasons I'm neglecting you? Don't just assume it's the phone. You might be using the phone because there's something else going on in your heart. Ask God. Am I having a problem trusting you, Lord? Is there an issue? Did somebody in authority hurt me and now I don't trust your authority? Why am I avoiding you? Why is this so hard to not spend time with you? What is in your way? Why is it so easy? Look at somebody and say, examine yourself. That's a self-examination. God, do I have a demon? Is there a demon in my house? Did somebody give me something with a demon on it? Am I friends with a witch that I've been inboxing and talking to? Does a warlock have my business? Ask God. 
Examine yourself thoroughly to see if you are in the faith or just around the faith. Yeah. You can just be around it. Can I keep preaching in here? Avoid false... Ooh. Avoid, avoid false doctrines, false teachings, and clickbait narratives designed to seduce you. And it's easy. Well, who are those people? Who, track records, consistency, motives, and ambitions must always be judged to really know why people are posting and promoting things on their channels. So you judge. That's all you judge. The track record. Go back a little ways. Consistency. Motives and ambitions. Are they just trying to get likes? Are they trying to get famous? Amen. Amen. And five is getting quieter and quieter. Good. Amen. I like them kind of sermons because they, oh, I keep going. I keep, yeah. Only what you do for Christ will last. Look at somebody and say, only what you do for Christ will last. Your investment in him and his plan for you will carry you through these times unharmed. But if you are seduced and lured in by the ungodly, you will fall. Look at somebody and say, stay planted. Finally, Acts 17 and 29, for as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's devices. And the times of this ignorance, God winked at it. So he let them, he, 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 he let them function the way they were functioning with the idols and different things that they had. He just still let them live. But now he's commanding all men everywhere because of what Jesus did He's commanding us to do what? Amen. Repent, which means to turn from it. Everyone stand to your feet. Well, it was a good message to me. I needed to preach to myself. Amen. Lord, do I need to stand down here with everybody else? My goodness. Yeah. Yeah just that easy though and sometimes certain things happen to me just for me to see just how easy it is to just allow yourself to give yourself over to something that you have no business fooling with but we're all human so we all need the power of God to help us in these areas amen especially when it comes to this phone and listen especially when you've been through an argument when you've been through an altercation with the person you love or when you're going through something with them or when you're going through financial crisis whatever that would get you down on yourself that's when the wrong stuff pop up in your phone and it's a trap the bible calls it a snare it's a snare of the devil that will pop up and lure you in and before long you'll find yourself in a very bad place so we want to heed the word of the Lord. We heard it today. And we want to make sure, God, we want to make sure that we are not falling victim to these things again. We're going to control our phones. We're going to control technology. And we're not going to let it control us. Amen? Amen? So if you need prayer for that, just come on up. Strength in that area. Strength in that area. Strength in that area. Amen. Amen. Clean us up, Lord. We're not going to let the devil dirty us up with technology. That's the work of man's hands. That's the modern day idol. That's the modern day principality. That's the modern day Mola. That's the modern day Asterisk. That's the modern day Baal. It's the phone. It's the smartphone and it's seducing people and it's capturing us, causing us to fall. We just got to make sure we're strong enough to handle it. Amen. Everyone bow your heads. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for the truth of this message. 
Father God, we thank you, Lord, for speaking truth to us today. Father, even though some of the things that were spoken were hardcore and going against us, going against our minds, going against our desires, going against our flesh. And Father God, many of us have stumbled in these areas and got caught on pages and caught looking at things we shouldn't be watching and just sucked into that whole matrix thing. But God, we come to you today asking, first off, for forgiveness for us. Forgive us, Lord, for just spending that much time on abominations, things that you consider abominable, watching things we shouldn't watch, our own brothers and sisters fighting and hurting themselves, our own brothers and sisters showing their bodies or sexually manipulating and, and enticing. Father God, just those that you created, Father God, we just objectifying them and making them less than human. Forgive us for that, Father God. That's what technology does. It just dehumanizes everything and takes the consequences initially, takes the consequences away. But there is a consequence and we know it. So we ask, Father God, that you would give us mercy in this area. Forgive us, Lord, as we repent to you for watching what we shouldn't watch. Forgive us, Lord, as we repent to you, Father God, for just indulging in pleasures that are forbidden forgive us Lord we repent right now and Father God we ask that you give us the courage and the strength to handle this situation to put our own selves on a ration Father God we can put the phone down for a certain amount of time each day Father God we can deny our own selves access to certain things so that we can have time for you time for family time for loved ones just time to interact as human beings God so that we won't become more machine than human we ask for that right now in the name of Jesus Lord I know this word was on time I know this word was meant for today I know this is what you wanted spoken and we all receive it right now Lord. we receive it and we will do what is necessary to change these things in our lives in the name that is above every name we pray free us from it Lord. break every soul tie every chain father God everything that has come through it no matter how long it's been there father God anything that the enemy has done through these devices to us to our spirits to our humanness anything any rule that he's defied whatever has happened God we ask that you purge us right now with his wash us make us clean wash us white as snow clean us Lord clear our hearts our minds our thoughts so that we can lift you up and give you the praise we can come to you spend time with you talk to you and be in consistent fellowship with you in the name of Jesus we pray amen amen hallelujah Hallelujah. Now hug a human and say, I'm all human. Amen. I'm human. You human. I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have victory. I have power over the devices. I have victory over these devices. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I won't be a slave to technology. I won't be manipulated. I won't be coerced. But I have victory. Hallelujah. 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 Did y'all enjoy that message? Put your hands together. Amen. Thank the Lord for the truth. Boy, God comes for you, don't he? He comes for, he comes for all of us. Amen.